Hi everyone, my name is Shelby and you're watching Read and Find Out. So today I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free review of The Book Nights by J.G. McKinney. Last month, the author John sent this to me in exchange for a review, so let's just go ahead and get started. The Book Nights is a YAA fantasy adventure based on Arthurian mythology. It actually also has elements of dystopia as well. In The Book Nights, we're following our young protagonist, Artie Pinderhagen, and Artie comes from a family of readers. In this dystopian world that The Book Nights is taking place in, readers are persecuted and the libraries are burned and reading is banned. And once Artie's parents are identified as being readers who own a library that they have kept secret, they are taken and she is separated from them as she escapes. And that's where the story kind of picks up. So I'll go ahead and talk about the things I liked and then the things that I wasn't a huge fan of. So the concepts that went into this book were definitely my favorite aspects of the story. I'm really interested in books where you see readers that are persecuted and books being banned and societies where intellectual thought is not necessarily encouraged and people are kind of kept in the dark about the world and its potential and stuff like that. So that was really interesting to me. The primary reason that the books have been banned and that they're being destroyed is because words are magic in this book, or certain words in a certain way are magic. The bottom paragraph of the description of this book says that the Book Knights is a fantasy adventure in which knights wield words as weapons, librarians are wizards, and books can change the future. And I think that sums up the concepts that really underlie this book really well. So phrases or poetry can be used to strengthen oneself or to battle someone and that's really neat, and it was a cool concept that I've never really seen anywhere else. Obviously, most magic books use spells or something like that, which is dependent upon words, but it's not so much about the reading or certain phrases because of reading and poetry and stuff like that. McKinney also really does a good job of making these Arthurian tie-ins, so you'll have words that you would recognize from Arthurian legend, but it has a dystopian spin on it, so it's not like you're just reading another Arthurian tale. And I think that I would say that my primary critique of this book really has to do with the length, so some things might not have been as developed as I would like to have seen because I read a lot of adult fantasy, because this book is like 270-ish pages. So though you get to know the characters, there's not like a ton of room to develop them, and then the world building, which is done pretty well for the amount of pages that the book contains. There are a lot of concepts and things that the book was doing and trying to do, and I think that maybe broadening it a bit more and creating a bit longer of a story might have helped to be able to do them. However, this is a self-published standalone fantasy, and I realized that being self-published on its own probably creates some limitations in the length of the books that you can produce or if you wanted to create a series or something like that. And I would also say that this book is probably on the younger end of YA, so younger teens. The protagonist already is I think like 13 or 14, so she's pretty young, whereas most YA is a bit older teenagers, so I think that the target audience is slightly younger than I anticipated, so that took me by surprise a little bit when I was reading. Not so much a fault of the book, just not exactly what I had been expecting. So overall I gave this book a rating of 3 stars. I would recommend this for readers in their teens who like Arthurian myth and maybe would want to see it in a dystopian fantasy setting. I think you might really enjoy this, particularly if you like shorter books or standalones and you're not as much of a series person that makes this a lot less intimidating and something you could really enjoy. But that's going to be it for this video. Comment down below and let me know if you're interested in picking up the book nights and what some of your favorite self-published works are. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and like I said, comment down below because I'd love to interact with you. Thank you for watching, I hope you have a good day, and until next time.